Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I enjoy the occasional drink and quite enjoy a glass of red wine. At the moment, I have a few bottles shoved in a cupboard. It'd be nice to get them out. It's better to keep them on the side if they have a cork and it'd be nice to display them. So I'm gonna make a wine rack out of this bit of oak. I have a place in mind for it and it's a gap between the door and the window in my kitchen. So it needs to be tall and thin. I made something similar a few years ago out of pallets, so this is going to be a bit nicer. The pallet one got left behind in my Hampshire workshop. These are some rough sawn oak boards. So first I plane down one surface and edge, then I can get the other edge cleaned up on the table saw. I reconfigure my planar thickness into thickness in mode and then bring all the boards down to the same thickness. I set up the fence on the sliding table and then I can get the boards cut to length. I need two long pieces that can accommodate six bottles of wine and then two shorter pieces. So with all the bits cut, I plan to join them together using box joints. So I swap out my five mil grooving blade and get the jig I made a few videos back. I'll put a link to that video below and above. I set the blade height just above the thickness of the board and then I can start cutting the joints. With the last finger cut on one of the long pieces, I can unclamp it and flip it around and put that first cut finger back over the peg. I then take one of the shorter pieces and butt it up against that first one and make a cut. I can then move that first cut over the pin and then just keep continuing the process. With all the joints cut, I just have a little test fit to make sure everything goes together properly and it all seems fine. So I can move on to marking out where the wine bottles need to go. As I say, this is gonna hold six bottles so I divide up the section equally and mark out the center points for each hole. Then go to the drill press and drill out a pilot hole on each one of those marks. Instead of marking out the second piece in the same way, I'm just gonna clamp the two boards together and use the first pilot holes as a template to drill into the second piece. Now I need to make those holes bigger. So I've got a hole saw that will fit a wine bottle pretty well and another one that will fit the neck. I start with the larger holes. I drill through about three quarters of the way and then I flip the board over and go from the other side so I get nice clean holes. Then I can do the same with the smaller ones on the other piece. I clean up the holes using the bobbin sander. I start with the largest one and then drop down a few sizes to do the smaller ones. To improve the appearance and to make it easier to get the bottles in and out, I'm gonna add a chamfer to both sides of all the holes and I get to use my new router table for the first time for this. On a project like this, it's definitely easier to take the workpiece to the router rather than the router to the workpiece. I give all the pieces a quick sand down, going up to 120 grit, and then I can get them put together. I squeeze some PVA wood glue into the box joints and then get it spread out with a little brush. I get it clamped up, pulling the joints tight and checking that everything is square. I always leave the joints a little proud, so when it's dry, they just need sanding back. To attach it to the wall, I'm gonna use some of these brass mirror plates. So I just mark out where they need to go. Then I can chisel away the waste material. Before I install them, I'm gonna apply some finish and I'm just gonna go for the standard Danish oil. When the finish is dried, I can then get those mirror plates installed and that's it all done. 
Now you can go back to the house, mark out where the holes need to go and drill a couple of holes and install some raw plugs. Then it's just a case of attaching it with a couple of screws. Now I can fill it up. I suppose the only trouble of having a rack like this is it only looks good when it's full so I'm always going to have to keep six bottles on hand. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my Patreons. And please subscribe for more videos.